Hello, church family. This past Sunday, Pastor Jacob uh, made the point in the sermon uh, about how the kingdom of God, although we often look for it in big and flashy things and in big names, um, it's often found in what is near and small and familiar. Uh, here's a quick review from Sunday. But we often think that because there's no glitter, it's not exotic enough, or it's not on a big screen, it's not far enough away, it's not impressive. But the kingdom of God is found in the simple things. It's found when you gather around your family dinner table and you pray with your kids. When you open up the Bible with your kids, the simple things. It's found through a typical sermon, opening the Bible and preaching it. It's found in your small groups when you gather around and you pray, but yet we're always looking for the next hype. And there's so many Christians that never arrive at the place of contentment, and they're looking at the next thing that's going to make them hyped up and excited. And what they don't understand is that the, the Word of God and the kingdom of God is right there in the plain things, the simple things. They couldn't recognize it, and often we don't either. So often we are looking for God and what is big and flashy uh, and dramatic. Um, many years ago, I used to do light design for larger uh, arena events. This is an example. And there's a lot I could say about that. It was many moons ago. Um, but I'll make a couple of comments and then, and then a challenge. Uh, first comment, could God use an event like that, a large conference uh, or an arena event, to affect someone positively for the kingdom of God? Absolutely. Um, second comment, if you're going to change the world, turn the culture on its head, turn the world upside down uh, in the name of the kingdom of God. I don't think that's where it's done. I think where that is done is around your dinner table or in your living room. As you open the word of God with your family, uh, you wash your family in the word of God and you sing. So here's the challenge. Uh, husbands and fathers, um, how are you doing on this? Uh, this is something we've talked about in the past, implementing family worship in your home. For our family, it's something that we really only started doing a couple of years ago, and that's, and that's coming from a musical family. Singing together as a family is, is still a new endeavor for us. And we've done some things uh, well and some things not so well. So if you need help uh, implementing family worship in your home, what, what does it look like? How do we take it past the, the family devo to uh, a time uh, of worship, uh, including the reading of God's word, uh, the explaining of God's word, um, and the singing of his praises? Um, we have resources on our website. We have a family worship uh, page on our site that can help you. I'll link to that. And as well, if you have any questions about what this can look like in, in your home, if you've never done it before, or if you're struggling, uh, then please reach out. Uh, you can reach out to myself, um, our pastoral staff as well, and the elders are available to help you think through these things. Um, because if we want to change uh, the culture, um, then that, I think, is where it's done. Around the dinner table, as we as families disciple our children in the things of God, uh, using the very uh, near and um, perceptively small thing uh, of family worship.